hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl sammy with another let's talk movie video so today we're going to be talking about the 2021 netflix movie um called two as in the number two it was actually a very disturbing movie if i must say but i knew what i was getting myself into when i read what the movie was about and instantly i was like okay yeah i know it's going to be crap but i still want to watch it so yes i was torturing myself so now the movie begins where we meet two people they're laying in bed right the lady wakes up and she realized that she was on top of this stranger this man that she has never met before but naked right and oh i should say i did put it in the disclaimer but guys this movie is just straight nudity everybody it's not everybody it's like four people in the show but the two leading people were naked throughout the whole movie so i would not recommend watching this film with children around anyways so yes um our two leading roles um sarah and david woke up um on top of each other and sarah instantly like what the hell is going on who are you and try to you know get up off of the guy and instantly she is in pain like what the hell is going on and the guy you know wrapped his his hand around her pulling her back down he's like don't move don't move it hurts because and oh god there is so much groaning in this uh movie because i was playing this out alone and i had to run for my earphone because it literally just sounded like i was watching porn <laughs> A lot of groaning. So now um the guy was there, you know, digging feeling round and then they removed like um the bandage that was around the the wound, right? And that's when they realized that they were actually stuck together. And she instantly thought it was him, which makes no sense. Like why would I do something I've never met you before, why would I do something like that? Anyways, um they do they find out they actually found it out in the end that they were actually stitched together so somebody stitched them together and even in the movie like the guy is so touchy it kind of it made my skin crawl a bit um i don't know me putting yourself in her situation you wake up butt naked in front of a stranger completely stuck to get stuck stuck to them you wouldn't want them to be seeing you your breast and stuff right she was just there laying out and he's there, you know, looking at her boobs and stuff. And, you know, she wasn't even trying to hide in the slightest, which, eh, I don't know, different people. But, yeah, it was really touchy throughout the whole movie, which kind of weirded me out at first. But, eh. Um, this movie, uh, you know, just like the name focuses on the number two, there was a lot of items in the room that was, like, um, a pair. Like, you had the pair of, um, you had a pair of, picture frames on the wall i think he had like this little statue thingy there too and so forth so the number two plays like an important role in the movie yeah not really the movie is stupid <laughs> so while they were there in bed you know like you know it's just like it seemed as if they took everything from us which is weird because it's not like they searched they just woke up together in the bed right so how you know that everything was missing but yeah that's what they said and then you he said like um no not everything you you still have any earrings and she touched the earrings and it wasn't her so she pulled them out and she was like ew gross and like threw it away which 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 was a bit weird to me because was like it's just earrings but i guess you know you capture you get captured and you know what what they put on you on you so i kind of guess i understand it that way but her reaction was a bit too much like the overacting was just a tad bit much for me so um there they actually saw that there was a phone in the room as well but the guy instantly be like it makes no sense to check it because there's no way somebody's going to kidnap us and the us and then leave a phone out like that for us to call help so it even makes sense for chick and so while they were there laying the um you know exchange information you might as well get to know each other like we're stuck together like literally so you know they talk about the age your name like it must have it was 38 and she was 32 33 and whatever so they decided that okay they need to get up out of the bed 
and then they began like on top of each other just rolling around you know because they were stuck at um at, i'm gonna put up a picture of where they were stuck right there but then again even in the movie throughout the movie it is like where they stuck the seam at different different places to how their body was right because if they were stuck at the side it there was one time like he was on his back and she was uh, it just wasn't adding up but anyways they decided that they had no more comments have been so once she was in his lap, them decided to the mother try to stand up and instantly her leg got weak and she dropped on the ground and it fell. And this made no sense to me because nothing ripped. Yeah, the ball and whatever, but they showed it, you know, because I can tell these people are naked throughout the movie. And you actually saw when they dropped, like, their body went like this and this is where they should be joined. So I don't know how oh, the writer or the director never noticed that and just continue filming. Um, they got back up. They went to the bathroom, which was the most awkward thing ever because you're there peeing and a total stranger is there listening to you. And him actually squatted down to pee, which was weird because it's not like him could have stand up. But anyways, I'm not going to try to make sense of this movie. I knew what I was getting myself into when I started. I wish I could actually show clips of this movie, but uh, there is just there is just nudity everywhere. Eventually, you know, because she broke down, like um, that would have been a given, right? And she was like, she can't believe somebody would have this to her. And he's like, do you have anybody who was like would be after you? And there was a point that she said that she wanted to just give up. And he's like, you know, you have to be strong because there's people waiting for you. And her remarks was like, no, there's no one. And he's, he asked her, what about your husband? And she's like, oh, yeah. And that's when he realized that, yeah, there's something going on with her and her husband, right? So while they're in the bathroom, the light flickered off. And, like, you could hear footsteps and you hear door opening and closing. And them, you know, you don't know what's going on. You can't really fight because you're stuck together. Just have to stand there, you know. And by the time the light came back on, there was pills there, um, painkiller, which she ended up taking because she was having like a crazy migraine. So like I tell you, you know, they're in the room, in this strange room, right? And they moved one of the pictures because like I tell you, there's a pair of everything in the room. And they moved the picture and found like there was a camera there. So yeah, them confirmed that somebody was watching them, which was like super obvious. But yes, so the phone ended up ring, right? And you know, them not as fast as they wish they were on the foot because you know, two people know. So by the time them end up even reached the phone, the phone stopped ring. So she's like, okay, no, there's a dial tone. And she actually started to call the number, tried to call 911, but the numbers were stuck and instead her hand instead of pressing like um one her finger pressed two and then that's when she heard a um one of those old time music is it what mozart mozart was playing and then like she instantly froze like shocked and the dude was like yo what's going on and she's like it's mario my husband is the one who's doing this because he's always accusing her of cheating and all of this. Because she's a younger woman compared to Mario, you know. So, um, in their marriage, he is very jealous, basically. And him thinks that she a cheat upon him. So, she believes that he did all of this just to get back at her. She like, And she's there explaining to um, David that... Um, is so obsessed with the number two and she don't understand why she never realized from the radio that it was him because they took everything the two picture frame whatever 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 and because him have this strong belief that two is the the key to unlock everything it's like a balance between um yin and yang the feminine the masculinity of it and all sorts of bullshit and they try to make the see the, they try to make the show seem like it was you know this mind bubbling thing that to get you thinking but really um the guy he asked her like were you cheating on him and she was like no I've never cheated on my husband right 
And you know, him never believe her, but anyways, him tell her that he was actually hired by a man to end up like sleep with his wife. And that's when she found out that, that my dude was actually a prostitute, right? Oh, second movie about prostitutes. But yeah, um, David was a prostitute. You know, they're, they're, they're having dialogue and she asked him, no, him asked her, like, do you think he is able, you know, that he would kill her? She's like, yeah, she believes that he would because he actually did end up seeing a scar on, her, on the back of her shoulder, right? And him did think of the people them that stitched them together, but when him pointed out to her, asking her if it hurt, you know, um, she told him no, and that's when he realized it was an old wound. So this dude, her husband, Mario, was like, beating the hell out of her when they were together so they ended up finding a window right and they're peeping through to see if they can you know no it try to figure out where they were and then like they smell the signs of paint and they said okay that means we're kind of close to air so and whatever and eventually because i guess being um stoned together with a random stranger gonna get you close they ended up kissing which was just so weird it was just oh like they just kept kissing uh, yeah that's when the light turned off and they you know they instantly stopped um so when it came back on they decided like okay we need to like detach ourselves right and they ended up breaking a mirror in the bathroom you know the dude smashed it with his hand his hand was shaking so him tell her that she would have to leave like she caught one thread and like felt her own in there and that's when she realized that they had actually cut it off cut it off and that's when she realized that they had removed um skins not only were they joined together like the wound itself was open like and cut off the skin cut off for them skins put them together and stitched around it so that's how they realized okay we're definitely um stuck stuck together and it's not as um light as just being sewn together like there's flesh touching flesh right so she immediately got back weak in the knees and him kind of scurry her over to the bed before they reach the bed um they started you know look around a bit more and they end up finding a draw and he was like, give me the earring that you had on so he could have pulled it. So this is where you know that this dude has had a hard life. Because every little thing him seemed to know him, nobody camera them. Because apparently he used to use those same type of camera to blackmail the females who hired him. You know, to get money from them because they have an affair with, their, with him. So yeah, he opened the drawer and that's when they found two Bible. There was this scripture there i never pay much attention to that either in the second bible the same scripture was marked again but a picture fell out with this lady and it named rita and like if you want a movie to just you know it's really short it was like an hour long on like five minutes long it's not that great movie but it's not that bad movie either it's like an okay movie it's like you can't watch it honestly can't watch i'm not gonna lie so Sarah asked him like describe what the man looked like and he's like him don't really remember because he was um drinking that night and it was kind of dark but what he remembers like the guy um is an older guy gray hair and beard and she instantly like yes that's mario that's mario and he's like that's like every almost every old guy that don't really say much but she is adamant that that's mario and he just wants to get back at her them start for fights like after this because when she realized that um he was basically hired to sleep with a married woman she slapped him for basically doing what he does anyways they started to fight and again they began to kiss it's like this it's like a really bad soap opera that's what it got me that's what it seemed like to me a really 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 bad soap opera so the phone ring and she was like it's mario but if you're talking to him you need to talk to him like with a cool tone and you know just don't make him seem like he's in control basically so when she answered the phone no and she said hello and the man said like something like how are you guys doing some shit like that um she froze 
like you just see her completely spacing out and him grabbed the phone and started cussing expletive everywhere if you this and i'm gonna kill you blah 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 something about your mother and all of that extra days and the phone cut off and then she told him like that's that's not mario that's not my husband and then she's like no it must be him because what else would it be he's just using like a voice over thing you know and she's like, no, that's that's not him. I knew it. I know his voice. That's not Mario. So now they're starting to panic. Like, who the hell is doing this to us, right? If it's not your husband, um, I cover my track when I'm sleeping with married women, right? So who is after us? So they be like, okay, there must be like a clue in here. They like just try to remember something. And they ended up taking back the picture that they had found with that lady, Rita Annie's. That's how they realized that the earring was actually the same that she had in her ear. Um, they still couldn't figure out what that's supposed to mean. So by now they're actually in the bed. They're very weak because they lost a lot of blood. So while they were there like talking, um, comparing the life, you realize that she was the one who had like an easier life while he was the one who really, you know, had to struggle. He grew up in an orphanage and she was like well taken care of um, him public school and she private school and like so forth you know so she was like we really need to figure out how we're gonna get you know how we're gonna get separated before because if this wound end up get um infected so instantly she's like no i'm one of those universal don't he confessed that he is also like that and like same time the light switched off and then we hear you know, like a footsteps going around, the door closing again. And then when the light came back on, there was a box on the table. So them, you know, a bit hesitant, but they went and they opened the box. It was food. They gave you that dramatic pause, like it was something, you know. But yeah, it was food. They ended up eating the lasagna. And then while they were eating, they started fighting again over something really stupid. And then they started to make out again. It was just all over the place. It was just really stupid. So yeah, they're there kissing and then the light switched off. And she was like, um, she noticed that every time they kiss, the light turn off. So this person doesn't like when they kiss. So they'd be like, oh yeah, all right, let's give him a show. So him lift kind of lift her, oh god, lifted her up and they were on the bed having, doing the dirty deed because they heard a lot of moaning, like really, a lot of moaning and then the door flung open and the guy was like, and they need to stop, like demanding them to stop this right now and them continued doing it, doing it and then like I reached, get closer to them and that's when they kicked him kicked him hard enough for him to like drop back and hit his head on the table so that's when all of that happened no one knock out him come out for the bed and realized that the guy that was there was really not mario it was a guy who actually kind of imitating how mario looked the same type of glasses him with the way him kind of cut him beard but that was not mario so anyways they met them way outside of the room now still naked they're not even who cares we're trying to get away right so they them come out of the room now and instantly as they left the room like on the walls there were um news clippings like lying off the wall about siamese twins and there was this one specific story about a lady who had um twins that were conjoined and she ended up dying during childbirth and they ended up like you know they did the surgery and they split up the kids and about their father who had schizophrenia and some stuff like that and that's when um they like they looked at each other because they saw the picture of the lady and then saw the picture of um that was in the bible and it was the same person it was rita and that's when they started to um confess well she she's like she's not actually 32 33 she's actually 38 and she was born yeah you see where i'm going you guessed it they're brothers and sister they're twins that 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 was separated at birth but girl 
Like, how do you not, like, looking back at what you did with your siblings, just, yuck. So they went off to the room where they heard, like, dogs barking, and that's where they found, like, this man had been experimenting on animals as well. You had dogs there that was conjoined, and then you had um, Mario there dead, and she found her burrito, and she took it up. But M. David, like, asking, like, did you do this? She's like, no. And then she's like, she don't remember. But I'm pretty sure she wasn't the one who killed um, Mario, right? So while they're there, um, you know, trying to get um, free, the dude came back and he's like, you guys are better being together. You're stronger. You won't be lonely. And I'll start to shit, shit, shit. And he's like, you have no idea how powerful number two is. And he talk about some of the other people them that were on the, the newspaper clipping on the wall. And how one of them was the last 20 at picnic between the two of them. And one of for crap. And that's when he realized that this dude was actually um, their dad. The schizophrenic that dude. So yeah. Um, once um, she pointed the gun at him. And him, you know, call her bluff tackled her for the gun, tackled them, you know, the tussle and fuse and shots started to fire and the dude got shot and so did um David got shot in the leg. So he was knocked out really and then them realized that which part David get shot in him for there is no way in hell them can't walk together forget you know, forget away. So they really decide they really needed to be separated from each other. So they found like a letter opener, him sharpen it and them cut it, which was, I guess some flesh did get cut. So yeah, she separated herself from her brother and she made her way outside. And that's when you realize that they were very far from anybody. It was just snow everywhere and trees and she was there naked and snow there's so much snow and she's there you know, she couldn't run because she's weak and she does had blood like this coming out of her and she's there running you know because obviously i want to i want to save my brother i want to save me and the other guy came back because he wake up now and him and david start fighting him end up shoot the whole man in him in so this movie does piss me off because why would he put me through all of that just to kill them off? So everybody, everybody's dead in this movie. Even those poor animals, because they're going to starve to death. But yeah, that's it. Like, we saw when she eventually fell down on the ground. Because, again, it looked like there was nobody else for miles. And then him there bleeding out. And then you see the movie end with them, like, in the yin yang position. It was just... It was just too much. That was the movie. It was. I can't say it's disappointing because I knew what I was getting myself into. And. God. But at least they could have given me something. It's not as bad as the human centipede. I wouldn't say it's as bad as that. But if I was supposed to like rate this. I would give it like a 2 out of 5 stars. Yeah. It's not a bad show. But it's not a good show either. It's close to okay the writer did not have to kill off the both of them right like you finally just meet back your twins after um so many years of not even knowing that you guys were together and they did admit that at one point that they felt you know lonely they always felt lonely and envious of other kids who had you know siblings the writer was just mean they could have met the people them live but yeah, so <laughs> tell me what you think about this show. Don't forget to like and also subscribe. Um, that's it from me. So until next time, bye guys.